Welcome to another vlog. Today we're going to Sao Paulo, capital of the state here, because we're gonna go to the Shepestaway concert, the Turkish post-punk band. We're gonna go there, and we're also gonna explore Sao Paulo a little bit. So, let's go. I think we are going by car now. We are going by bus, but the fact that I have to get this. Every time I wanna use my headphones. My earplugs. Every time I wanna use my earplugs, I get to get this. Just fucking annoying. Okay, so I just had lunch here, and now I still have some time before I buy the tickets to the bus. So we are gonna have some walking with coffee, ready to catch the bus and go to São Paulo. So I'll see you guys in probably the bus. Maybe we roll. I don't know. After two hours ago, I got here in São Paulo, yeah. and now it's 6 p.m. It's not gonna be cool, but <laughs> we're gonna face the chaos here to get a subway and everything else. So here we go, starting now. So here we arrived in the Verdade neighborhood, the largest Japanese neighborhood of Sao Paulo and the hotel. I had three beds just for me. <laughs> Woo! It's actually comfortable. So here we are at the hotel. I just arrived here and apparently I have three beds just for me, or if I decide to have a party. The audio here is amazing. And I think we're gonna go, we're gonna go out a little bit, at least like to have like some food or something like that. And maybe explore what we can explore of the Freedom neighborhood. It's called Freedom, like Liberdade is, a, is Freedom in Portuguese. And it's the, probably the largest Japanese uh, neighborhood that we have here in Brazil. I don't know. But we're gonna check, like, let's go. So I just realized that I have a curtain with a window here. And I didn't open yet. So, so let's get, let's see the surprise. Let's see. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, look at that. Fucking awesome. Check it out, this is like neighborhood at night. It's a very cool experience though. I mean, we're gonna check this like tomorrow during the day so we can buy stuff. We have a market and a lot of stuff to check here, but it's the neighborhood during the night. It's the first time that I actually get here during the night, so it's very cool. Nani? Of course, before the, before the show, I gotta get another coffee. Cause, you know, your boy here just runs on coffee. Nothing else more. Well, 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 we ready, we ready. I, let me show you. Outfit, check. Woo. It's still hot, but I don't know if it's gonna make, it's gonna be cold later after the concert. So, taking the jacket, taking the coat. So let's go. Woo. So I just arrived here, 
Let's see what is waiting for us. First off, let's go to the bar. to uh, rest a little bit and restore my dignity that cause it was was amazing it was amazing it was amazing and what happened is that after the, the, the concert I met some people and we we got like uh, until like 4 a.m. 3 a.m. because they, they had to wait for the subway and then we it was a night I uh, have I hang over because I had like two gin tonics yesterday and some water But it's a beautiful day in Sao Paulo It's sunny, which is not very common It's sunny It's sunny out there You guys have a natural, we have a natural light today And we are gonna go street walk And then probably to Galeria I don't know Let's see what the day holds for us Also, special things to Mel, Luna, and Heather for making this concert possible, okay? Thank you. Time for us to start our tour. We're going to the... like a famous bridge here we're gonna be showing bridges i need to find a marker with like a lot of goodies but i don't know where it is and i know that i'm super tired like hangover style of the cat up there I'm so sad I found a store that I wanted to show you guys so badly but I didn't allow to film inside of it they had like a bunch of katanas at the store that I I showed the front of it they had a bunch of, bunch of katanas and shit but now we're going to the market Of ramen and ramen and noodles here. Okay, I found a to street now that I can talk to you guys so god damn it, the market was so full but they have like literally everything but it was so so fucking crowded there and Whoa! almost fell here because the, the sidewalk is kind of narrow 
Mire. And even have like this pattern. It's like a Japanese pattern, I think, for the, the sidewalk. I need to research. I decided to go back to the, to the park because it's so fucking hot. And I was like, bro, it is so fucking hot out there. I need like a little bit of nature. So here we are. Here we are. So I can't film a lot here because this is a very very dangerous place that you can just like steal the phone from my hands. Well, you guys can have like a glimpse of how like São Paulo swallows you and consumes you. You're so fucking small here. And here we are. Galeria do Rock. The most rock and roll place in São Paulo. It used to be. It's not anymore. Here we go. You guys remember that I showed some fight happening in the live streams. It was here. Here's where it happened, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> Right here, this used to be like a shopping mall, only the rock related alternative stores. But they have like a lot of uh, streetwear, skateboarding, and shit like that. So you got like some music stores related. Yeah. Was... Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed our little trip. We thought, why not I'll wrap it up right here in the middle of the old downtown São Paulo? So, yeah, yeah, enough uh, problem. And don't forget to hit like and, like and subscribe if you had a good time with this trip. If you just vlog, if you're not subscribed already, I'm gonna get run over by a car because I didn't know that this was a street. Last but not least, don't forget to drink your coffee and catch your life very well. Bye!